Hi everyone, so I've been wanting to make an eyebrow covering tutorial for a long time because it's very very difficult to do uh, if you're just starting out. It took me a long time, I did a lot of research, a lot of practice, and I used a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, some that helped me out were Misty Eyes has a good one, uh, Fudge Brownie aka Mystic Summers aka Dante has a good one, <laughs> and um, who else? Petrolude has a good one. And uh, I, this is how I do mine, and it works for me, and this is good if you have thick eyebrows, because I do, and, um, what else? Because, yeah, like, Petrol has a really thin eyebrows in his, and mine are not thin at all. <laughs> and, um, what else was I going to say? thing that I that I didn't show is how to well, how to cut it with a spoolie but also how to it's important also to trim under and over so there's no extra hair just like extra stray hair just around because that'll just pop through your makeup if you leave it there or it'll, you'll just need to cover all of this with glue if you have hair that goes up and down that much so yeah clean up your eyebrows and the way to do it is you get one of I don't know if I have one around here you get one of those little scissors like for nails but you need to get the ones with a round tip not the ones with a sharp pointed tip because you don't want that anywhere near your eye and you just cut them another thing I did was I took with like a <laughs> uh, eye pressure into the scissor I took some um some like uh buzz clips or whatever like the little buzzer thing and I cut and I took I just buzzed it off right here which was a couple of seconds and it was a lot quicker so I don't know how dangerous that is so so if by my next video I don't have an eye you'll know how dangerous it is so and yeah so this is how I do it. I have really thick eyebrows what I usually do is I take the before I to prep I take a spoolie and I I brush it up and holding it and then I cut it. There's probably videos of that on the internet, how to keep your eyebrow from moving around. Um, so that shortens the hairs by a lot. And I go really dramatically. I don't care if I hack it because um, it's I can, because the, the shorter it is, the better. So, yeah. Not the shorter it is, but, you know, the less it sticks up. Uh, because then it, cause then if you have long hair, what it, what will happen is when you put the glue, it will lump up. And if it lumps up, you have to add more glue in order to even it out from the bottom. Like, it turns into, like, a little lumped-up mountain. And to fix it, you have to go under and over with glue stick to make it even. And so it's just easier to cut it. And that's one of the tricks that I... That needs to... I don't know. It's Yeah, it is addressed in other videos, but I just wanted to just reinforce. So, yeah, go check out their videos. And also, there's another... So... And there's also a lot of tricks that they don't show that I thought, that I thought needed to be... On the internet in case anybody needs them because they were really helpful to me I, once I figured them out like using water to smoothen it out if you make any there's any lumpiness around anywhere or just all over and that's something that I learned because I was shower I was washing off my makeup and I noticed that it was so smooth I was like wow I should just do this when I do my makeup and now I do you'll see that in the video and um, another good trick Mystique Summers puts like um adhesive like liquid bandage over to keep the sweat or the moisture from uh, making it come making her eyebrows pop up another trick that I learned uh, I learned this one from Caitlin and Will Will aka Jade Avalon go check out her 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 um her profile she's really awesome uh, they're the ones who taught me to use um spirit gum under it to hold them down and then brushing it and use that before you use the glue, and that'll keep them from popping up too. And it's really, it's a really amazing idea. So, hey, so yeah, I hope you, my, I hope my video is helpful. And uh, yeah, thank you. I'm naked in three, two. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So this, this, and this, um. Fold it, and then you put it right there. Yeah, yeah, Brushes. I think it's So you take one of these. Um, this. And you go. Okay. 
Jag ska prata om dig själv då, okej? Okay? Jag pratar om själv. Ja, men jag tror att det är viktigt, eller rätt att vara sig själv för att man, det är såklart, eller jag är såklart rädd att bli avvisad om jag är mig själv. Att det jag är inte ska vara tillräckligt. Eller... Eller att det ska vara för, för mycket. Att det ska krossa folk. Mm. <laughs> Också. Det kan vara åt båda hållen. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna start speeding through this because I have no time to go and edit this back later. So, the way I put on the glue, I already showed you. I, I just grabbed it, did that. But that was after I cut it. I can make a tutorial on how to cut it later. So then I got one of these, one of these, and then, and then uh, I added more over it. And it's already cut. Uh, and what I do now, uh, well, now I just wanna lay it down. And I can. That's my mother. If you, I don't know if you can hear her. Make sure you get the ends right. The mine always love to come back up. And just let it dry some more. You could hide this. Uh, you could just go from this into wearing some white makeup over it and it should cover a lot of the color. I don't know if the texture is so much. So I like to do another extra layer of just of just I, I like to do another extra letter if I repeat myself I end up saying things the wrong way <laughs> if I end up I like see I told you <laughs> that's what comes from maybe being a Spanish so the next step uh, the, you could get away with doing just this and adding just some clown white or some really thick something over it or just you, you'd get rid of the color but you wouldn't get rid of the texture but to get and you know that works sometimes but I like to get rid of as much of the texture as I can I can get rid of all the texture but it would take me like an, a long a lot longer so I ain't got time for that I put a whole bunch on my thing this is where this to toilet paper comes in or tissue or whatever let's just say and, and okay so and then I just 
Try to spread it evenly. I used to use for this um, a little spatula, you know, like those uh, cuticle pushers. And then I lost it, and it was like my favorite thing to use. Then I had to be, you know, part of being a drag queen is being really, what's the word? Resourceful. So I just came up with this, the way I get it. And then once I wipe it off, I, I once I take it off my eye, I wipe it into here because if I keep trying to, trying to like uh, shape it on there, it'll just dry up and it'll make a mess. So I just like to put that on. And then like this right here, this white stuff, I go back in with some, this I figured out, I saw another YouTube tutorial, somebody did it. Um, I go in and I, that's why I have one of these little, I saved a little cap from one of them. Where's my water bottle? Then just take your water bottle or whatever and just, and I have this with me while I'm doing this. I think I put too much water in it. Anyway. Dun, 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 dun. So I go and I stick my finger in it and then, <laughs> then I just blend that. You can actually blend the glue like that. Like see, you just. And if it doesn't want to blend, you can also just wipe it off with another. This is how I, actually how I remove it also. Just like water and um, when, I, when I'm ready to remove, take my makeup off, I moisten it and then I scrape it off. And that gets it off pretty well. There aren't any tutorials on how to remove glue, um, how to remove glue from your eye. Which is unfortunate because I ended up having eyes that burned when I had to take it off. You can also put it on your whole eyelid and it'll add like a sheen, a shine, which is, if you don't, if you don't have thick and really pick, really makeup that's gonna cover that up, you probably don't wanna do this, but uh, I'm using, what am I using? Sally Hansen something something is what I use sometimes, or it's a bronzer or Ben Nye foundation, theater makeup. So there, that blended that out. So you, you don't go on your eyebrow if you if you're scared um, of it being, it'll because it'll be really shiny and if you don't have makeup that's good enough to cover that you're gonna be in trouble. But I thought, I actually don't go over it like that. I'm just being silly right now because I'm being recorded. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I went over the line, but that's all right. It's better to go over. Then your hair's just popping out. <laughs> Why am I singing on the internet? Why? I'm just asking. Okay. It's so strange to talk to yourself. Uh, well, by, in your room by yourself. Anyway, so there's that. And if you add water to it, it's sometimes not. Well, I guess it's probably probably not being patient enough. But it sometimes dries quicker if you put water over it. That's there's coming up. Hmm. Should I use powder on it? Sure, I'll use powder on it. So I have this lid from my container where I have on my face, uh, my make some of my makeup. And I take Cover Girl, Covers Boy, um, <laughs> and I take some of these. Actually, Clone White would be better. So I, where is it? <laughs> So, so usually when I do my makeup, I have everything organized so I don't have to go through this stuff. No. Super White by Ben Nye. Or, I don't, have, I don't know where my baby powder went. Or baby powder. And you take a little, oh, I don't have it. I don't know where it is. Take one of these and you just... 
Slap it on there. And that'll help you conceal it. And And as you can see, that wasn't blended. Which what you can do next is you can... And actually, one of the purposes of this is to hide the color, but another even more important... Usually, usually I take a brush and I like dust it on. And, well, my powder is all gone. But I dust it on and it'll help me see where there's texture that needs to be covered up. And that's how I start covering up the texture until there's no texture at all. And just repeating the process until there's no texture. No, sha, sha, sha. I speak that. So sometimes I just grab a brush and I dab it on there. And then I dust it. I mean, I blend and I blend it all because sometimes I don't get a, quite the coverage I need for my foundation, or maybe I just don't have time to put it on right. And I and, <clears throat> and I end up um, with weird patches of skin color with patches. So I don't know if you can see it, but I have all these little parts I need to fix as well as texture like all of this is texture all of this is texture well this one doesn't have as much texture but this one has a lot and then the eyeshadow that all comes through which is just something that you just have to deal have to well I guess you can spend all day covering it but if you're gonna have your boy brows you need know, something I just I gotten used to you can't always win with these eyebrows. Maybe you can, I just haven't figured it out. <laughs> I'm over this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tissue, grab a little corner, and just wipe that off. Oh crap. And that is how you remove eyebrow that, and I, <laughs> a messed up eyebrow. Hair coming up right there. <sighs> Let's dust it back up and see what we got. Uh, I hate talking like one of those like like people who say like a lot. <laughs> um, no, like. Oh wow, I fixed that, but then I messed this up. Great. You know what, I'm over this, I'm just gonna... Or did I? Yeah, I kinda did. Oh, and this came out. The way you're like, a good way to check it is to turn your eyebrow to the side and look at it in the mirror if you see any hair poking out or any weird texture or bumps. That's what you, that's how you figure out where you need to add your glue stick for more coverage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh wow, this one's a mess. So once you have a messy eyebrow, <laughs> you can take this, 
Well, that's not the one I was using. You can take your card, and that's where it comes in really handy. You just slice off some of the top a little bit. Position it in the beginning of your eyebrow and just press it across your eyebrow. And press. I wish I would could have. I haven't taken many. Um, what are they called? Not pottery. Sculpture? No, not sculpture. Just scrape it across. Not scrape it, you push it across. I'm trying to get and try to get it as even as possible. And then once you <laughs> Okay, I guess this helps. When you wipe it on that you do that and then you can that way you don't add more once you you're trying to take it off your thing. Your card. Oh wow, this is one banji ass video. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you know I, what I thought I'd share I, I was like I'm not going to show all the Nasty ass banjee tricks that I do But If they help someone out It's worth it Oh wow that's a huge Mess right there I usually don't go in with so much powder so early because it'll start making like a weird mixture. Mixture. So I added more glue. Still recording. Okay, fixing a mistake like this is hard, and um, this is probably the hardest part about doing eyebrows. I already fixed this one, and it was just easy. You just put on the thing, and you just pack on the powder. You can actually kind of blend it while it's wet. If you press it down, you can actually kind of blend it. Um, I mean, smooth it out. So as you can see, there's a lot less texture in this one than there is in this one, so I'm just going to go. There's a little bit of texture right here, but... It won't mean, hopefully it won't be noticeable on there. I guess if I were, if I had more time, I would do it, but I don't have time to do it in powder and wait for it. Um, so I'm just gonna go to the, I'm gonna show you how to, how to fix a mistake. And I ramble and I speak quickly, so. Nothing I can do about it. It's the same method. And I love using a debit card or credit card because it it's a smooth it's a smoother application than using like a like Petrolu uses a spoolie and I actually not a spoolie. Uses like an artist brush in. I like using that but it's way too small. So, you when you try to like cover up like a dent or something weird in there, it it's doesn't you, it requires more work than just pressing this. And then you just press it away. As long as you don't want to press too hard, because you end up taking it with you. It's like pottery on your face. Try to think of the word, but I couldn't. So, sorry. Have a trash can near you because you're going to be making a lot of corrections. <laughs> um,
guess you'll see this mess right here. So I'm gonna cover that up with the drag <laughs> with the what the I don't know who said this. Ah, uh, the drag queen. I don't know who said that the number one drag makeup tip was like you make a mistake, you don't you don't fix it. You add more. <laughs> and those are the origins of drag makeup. <laughs> And that is how you end up looking like a panda. Like a beautiful, sexy clown panda. Beautiful. I'm gonna watch this video and I'm gonna be so annoyed by how how much psycho babble there is. You don't need to hear people speaking all the time. Oh wow, look how beautifully I fixed that. Wonderful. <laughs> Oh, I've never done that before. Experimentation. I know what happens now. And what I did just did just now was I turned this way to see all the weird bumps that need to be fixed more clearly. Because in the camera, it looks so bright and beautiful. Over here, and you can see everything. Over here, you can't see shit. <laughs> I wish my eyes were a camera. Okay, so it looks like a mess because of the white in there, but now I'm like seeing where the uh, turning my head this way and following the sheen, and that's how I know if there are any irregularities like this right here. You can just follow the sheen, and if it's a smooth sheen, well, I end just the smoothness of the sheen on, on your skin okay there it looks a mess but that's because of the mixture of the of the white of the white in your eye so I add some more to my little thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. I think it's too oh crap it's too wet <laughs> so what it's doing it's it's lifting instead of setting <laughs> so you just pack on the powder quickly and press it in you shall not pass eyebrow <laughs> Tapa tapa tapa. <laughs> it didn't quite smooth out, so I'm just gonna add tons more powder. <laughs> Jesus. And as you can see, I took it all the way down here, <laughs> where it doesn't need to go. No hair's poking out. 
but there's a weird shading right here that ne is going to need to be addressed when I go in and draw my eyebrows. I mean, I draw my eyes, I mean, my eye makeup, which is unfortunate. Now, what I would normally do, no, I wouldn't, <laughs> is I would uh, take it all off and start over again because it's, it's the eyebrows are the most important. A good eyebrow coverage is the most important thing you're going to do for your entire makeup because you can have beautiful, you can have beautiful makeup, but if your eyebrows are, are messed up, it'll ruin your whole face. So that's what I would recommend. It's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> Um, so yeah, here's how you do it. Here's an okay job. Here's a good job. And that's not perfect. So, what next? Here's my brushes. I have all the ones that, I'm, that I use for my eyes and my eyebrows. And a little rubber band so that whenever I do my makeup I don't have to go around looking for them ta -ta 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 -ta. sorry for all the singing I can't help that so I have all of these and I use a little black one to draw on my or is it this one <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, that's for... Yeah, okay. Here's my palette. I'm using e.l.f. And... Uh, I took one of those little dollar ones apart, and that's what I use. The black one is really good, so... That's what I use for my eyebrow. Wait, I'm using black on my eyebrow? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, this is my black brush. That's why it was so weird. This is my eyebrow brush. I use, um, what is this? Uh, I think it's Espresso, Espresso by Ben Nye. Where did my mirror go? Did you take it? And I start right, I do this little thing. And, um, I, <laughs> I follow, um, what's his name? Joseph Hardwood. Because he says that if your eyebrows are farther apart and higher, they're more feminine. If they're lower and thicker, they're masculine. So I like to do them like farther apart. I, who, who am I copying this from? I think I copied it from, I don't remember. So I like to start like right here. <laughs> like right like, to match this upwards so and then the other side Okay, my god, deeper. I'm gonna do the end. Nose to this part. So nose, middle of the eye, and right there. I should have probably started with my left one first. Well, that came out pretty, and then... So there's that, it's not perfect, but, and then once you have your, the trick has just figured it out to, once you have that shape, you go down, you don't go back, go up or over it, to thicken it up. 
Mm. There's a mistake right there, but I'll just fix it later with foundation. So once this doesn't, for eyebrows and bigger stuff, I like to look at a bigger mirror. I have a bigger one over here in order to match them better. Oh no. Yes, me, I'm gonna watch this video back and cringe. But it's my first tutorial, so I'll probably just. Let it be. <laughs> I haven't listened to Anya in so long. <sighs> Is that song from Lord of the Rings? So it requires a lot of powder to get a really opaque look. And there you'll go. I'm gonna go back in later with other stuff to make it pop more. What paint things should I use? I think I'll use something really bright. Like. Bright pink. Bright pink or bright orange right here. Or right here. Oh. Just go with bright pink. <laughs> And, oh, there's always some on here. So I just leave it on the lid. There's one that I use for color. I think this is my color one. No, it isn't. It's, okay. Let's get a new one for color. <laughs> and the way I'm, when I'm using a bunch of brushes, I get a toilet, uh, a tissue. And I wipe it off and see if there's any color on it. And it's gonna, if it's going to, like... Black one. If it's gonna like make my makeup muddy, okay, this one's good. Or you could wash them, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Prime your eye. With some Prima Potion. I love it. it. makes me feel witchy. I wish everything I own had a witchy name. You know what? Boxum. <laughs> Boxum Cosmetics. 
I'm gonna start buying just that and using that because it's pretty and it's fancy in it. And it has a beautiful name. Makes it wanna kill, <laughs> it makes it wanna eat children. Uh, <laughs> I said kill. <laughs> Let it dry. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um. So you got that set a little bit. What am I looking for? Thank you for these. a nice subtle oh subtle This color is so pretty. Let's take it up higher. <laughs> Let's take it up where it shouldn't go. It's down, down, down. Maybe the same eyebrow one he started in the same place.
This time using a lighter brown spice with the knife. Oh crap, <laughs> I forgot to completely conceal my eyebrows before doing all of this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, this brush and this Sally bronzer. You take whatever heavy coverage thing you can find. I'm just gonna do this. And that takes care of that. Oh look, it's the same color as my crease. Put it in the middle so there's a even blend once I add my other stuff over it.
Whoops. <laughs> and once you do this, you realize that your eyebrows are completely... Oh, not so much. They can be fixed. <laughs> Some glue that is giving my face extra te oh or is it okay extra texture that I don't want. Take your face powder. It's too big. Hmm. 
Strangers in the face before Slain from the room of my door <laughs> Burned in view Drifting from my fall Strangers don't know what's in the face before Okay. Okay.